Welcome to Chinta Statistics and Data Science. Today we are going to solve this problem from IIT JNNS 2022, problem number three. The problem says that let f be a function mapping from R to R such that f of x is equals to determinant of this matrix 1 plus x 9 9 9 1 plus x 9 9 1 plus x and then the maximum value of f on the interval 9 on the closed interval 9 comma 10 equals to there are four options so basically the function is actually in the form of a determinant and we are asked to find out the maximum value of the function on the restricted interval 9 and 10 close interval right so obviously one thing you can do is that just break down the determinant right and then solve the problem using calculus you can do that but there is a better method for this problem differentiating a determinant is actually quite easy so what we do is the determinant is this right fx is actually a determinant of this this matrix right so f of x is this the f prime of x that means the derivative of x derivative of the function f is actually first we are going to derivative the first column of the determinant the first column only the first column and the remaining columns will remain the same that means the differentiating with respect to x the first column we get this one obviously because derivative of one plus x is a one right and the remaining are zero right this is a constant zero so one zero zero and the remaining columns remain the same the second and third column remains the same plus we are doing this this time we are doing differentiation for the second column and the remaining column the first and third columns remain the same for this for this uh, this determinant that means the first column remains the same as the original one the third column also remains the same as the original one but the second column this time getting is getting differentiated so this time it's zero one and zero plus for the remaining column the third column we are doing just the exactly same in, in an exactly analogous fashion we are doing this time the third column is getting differentiated this term this 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 term this column and the remaining the first and second columns are the same so first column is the same second column is, is the same and the third column is the differentiation of the first column term wise so ultimately that means so this is you can imagine how is it going if it had say n columns so, so the for the first determinant it will have the first column getting differentiated and the remaining columns will be the same plus the second determinant will be the second column of the original determinant will get differentiated and the remaining columns are the same and for the third determinant and so on up to the nth de determinant so that means differentiating uh, n cross n determinant will have a sum of n determinants right so it is th here it is a three cross three determinant so here it is obviously a sum of three determinants and now calculating the determinants for this these three determinants are zero very easy right you can calculate this determinant this one uh, simply as the first column along the first column and you can easily get that it's one plus x whole square minus nine square right and for the second determinant we can use the expanding the determinant by the second column we can by this column obviously because because it has uh, a lot of zeros right so by the second column we get again one plus x whole square minus nine square and for the third determinant this one we are expanding the determinant by the third column so again one plus x whole square minus nine square so it's thrice of one plus x whole square minus nine square ultimately it's three into x plus 10 into x minus eight that means f prime of x that means the derivative of f, f the function the, the derivative of the function is actually three into x plus 10 into x minus eight now let us find the critical points of this function this derivative you can see that this is a quadratic right this 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 is a quadratic function this is a quadratic polynomial having the roots minus 10 and 8 right so just figuring out a very, a very geometric representation the function is this function not the original function but this function f prime x will have positive values for anything beyond 8 or anything before minus 10 right it, it will have positive values and negative values if the x the input lies between minus 10 and, and 8 right this it will it is a it is a quadratic polynomial so it is have it is it is having a parabolic structure right so it, it is it is having this kind of structure so that means this is the structure of f prime right the derivative that means the original function if you think about the derivative is actually positive before minus 10 and negative after minus 10 right that means it is actually having a local maximum at minus 10 right the function the f not the f prime the f ha is having a local maxima at x is equals to minus 10 the function is actually something like this and a local minima because before 8 it's it, the function f prime is actually minus and after 8 it is plus that means the function is actually you know increasing after after 8 
it was decreasing before reaching 8 and after that it is increasing therefore the function has a local minima at is x is equals to 8 right therefore after 8 the function is strictly increasing right after 8 it is strictly increasing so in the interval 9 and 10 since the function f is actually increasing after 8 beyond it it is strictly increasing therefore in the interval close interval 9 and 10 f has a maximum value at x is equals to 10 right and the minimum value at x is equals to 9 because it is strictly increasing right in that interval so the maximum value that f achieves is at equal to 10 so therefore f of 10 is nothing but the determinant of this thing which turns out to be 116 therefore the answer to this problem is actually 116 it's a very easy problem the problem the main thing is that some might just do the determinant right from the here they might just expand this determinant right at the beginning and it might cause a bit of a problem it will still be working out it will still work out but it just might cause a bit of a problem and differentiating directly the determinant and then carrying on is better approach the calculations are almost negligible right it's very easy so there you have it the solution to this problem so do like share and subscribe to the channel for more exciting problems See you till next time.